And with us is Justina Destacio. Justina, what have the last 24 hours been like for you? I don't think it's all completely sunk in yet because I feel normal. I'm really happy and I don't know how to put it into words exactly how I feel, but I'm really happy. Have you heard from people back home yet? My phone's been going crazy and I haven't been able to say thank you to everyone, but thank you to everyone who did message me, it means a lot. You started the match off well, got some early points. What did that do for your confidence? Uh, it was cool because I'm a slower starter in my matches and then um, I had nothing to lose. I was in the final. I was going to get a medal. I wanted it to be cool. Um, but I don't know. I just thought, why not try, shoot first? You trade some points in the second half. You survived that last attack from your opponent. At the end, you it's a very emotional moment for you. What was going through your mind? <laughs> I just felt this, like, overwhelming sense of relief that we're doing the right thing for today or last night to happen um, and like really really proud of myself and the people who work with me like my family my friends my coaches my teammates um, because everyone told me like if you wrestle your best you can win like blah 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 and they really believed in me and then they were right <laughs> it was cool and then there's that great video of you embracing your teammate Danielle Lepage let's have a look at that mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it like to experience that with her? Um, yeah, like, Dan and I started wrestling together in 2010. Um, she was really good. She, I, I met her. She had just won Junior Worlds, and... I walked on to the SFU wrestling team because I wanted to keep being an athlete, and she's been there for every moment of my wrestling career. And to do yesterday with her was the coolest, the best day ever. Like, she, she knows my wrestling better than anyone. She saw it for death. She was my training partner. Um, she moved away. She's in law school. She's amazing. Like, <laughs> and she's been through so much and everything that um, I've ever been able to do. Like, she does it through such more harder situations. So it gives me a lot of inspiration to be like her. You had to drop a weight class in order to make Canada's team for these world championships. But this weight class doesn't exist at the Olympics. So what challenges do you face ahead of Tokyo 2020? I... The way it worked out, making the team at 72 was actually better because um, I had like four and a half months off this year of injury, so I couldn't lift as much weights, and it was just like healthier on my body to be wrestling a lighter weight class. Um, that's the positive outlook I took on it when I didn't make the team at 76, and then um, going back up, it's just we got to be we, me and my strength coach and my coach, got to be smarter about how I get bigger because I'm realizing I'm an older athlete and the rehab and recovery is important too so that's going to be figuring that process out is going to be um, the first thing we break down when I get home. And Justina lastly any message you have for young athletes out there? I guess that happened to me yesterday I won worlds I won provincials once I walked on to SFU like, uh, I had to email the coach, not walked on, I had to email the coach and say, can I come on your team? I wanted to be a soccer player. No one recruited me. Um, not like a soft story, I said, like I had potential, but it took, you guys saw yesterday, but it took since 2010 to have one good, good match and one big moment. Um, so it's like a process, it's a cliche, and, and everyone says trust the process and like learn from all your mistakes, but all that stuff actually added up for six minutes. And it was just, it was good. Mm -hmm. Justina Destacio, thanks for joining us. Congratulations, all the best.